Hey guys, this is Brad. I've been asked recently to do an add-ons video, so I figured I'd get to that now while I've got a chance. And I am not planning to PvP for the moment. So, I'll just start at the basics. So my user interface is xperl. And you can control everything quite easily. Once you click in here, you can save profiles, you can move things around. I've moved my bars to me, target, and target of target. So I can see what's happening and see the buffs and stuff. My buttons add-on is dominoes. I find dominoes to be pretty decent. Uh, I've used it for so long now, it's just what I'm used to. So this is what, actually, hold on. I'll show you what it looks like. This is the layout of my bars. So that's why you always see my cooldowns up here. It's because they're actually my buttons that I've moved over here. I only normally let them go out about this far though. I don't put them across my face. Pet bar, XP bar. It's just what I'm used to looking at. I size them down. You can right click on them and change the size and stuff through there. And you can turn them into uh, horizontal or vertical. So I've gone like one, two, three, and then the others over here. Generally, because of the way that the druid uh, bars interact, because you've got your different uh, forms that sometimes certain buttons overlap. So I found that I think it was nine and 10 or something like that were multiplying from one and two or something similar to that. So I used to have nine and 10 over here and and then where my mount was, was also where my heel was. It was really weird. So I had to move it all around because of that, but I fixed that. So I've got my menu bags, which you'll see when it comes back. For DPS meters or just in uh, instances in general, I use SCADA. I used to use recount, but it's coming up with like unknown errors all the time. And scout is pretty simple, so it's just scout with a K and just toggle to turn off. Uh, what else do I have? There's not a great deal. One of the main ones I use, which you see on the druid sometimes, is uh, my text is mixed scrolling combat text or battle text, whatever it is. MKSBT, I think it is. I'm just going to try and get three charges here, and you'll see see this one here. This is an add-on called Tell Me When, and you can set it for custom situations, but this one's for my uh, selfless healer, so I know when I've got three charges, I can do a big instant free flash of light. So TMW for Tell Me When, and you can just control it. So you just type in selfless healer, it'll find the spell. You click on the spell. Uh, you can set timer text if you want, which I always like. I don't like the timer because that's like a a, um, a pie type of thing in it. So the way the icon looks just looks strange. And I've set it to minimum maximum three. So I just want it to show up when I've got three stacks because I know I've already got it at um, as soon as I judge anyone anyway. So yeah, I just want to know when I've got the free one. And you can change that for different things, but a lot of the time Blizzard has changed it now that you'll have like a sort of graphical thing like on the Warrior, you'll see it pop up on the side that I've got the Raging Blow procs and that sort of stuff. So Blizzard has fixed itself a fair bit in that way anyway. Um, this one here is just Nug Combo Bar. Uh, just again, just something simple just over my head so I can see it. So I know when I've got my holy power, so that's three. And as it gets more, it'll extend out to five. It also works for um, Rogue and Druid and all of that. My bars that you can see here, these things, whatever they're called, is tidy plates. So I'll just go into here. So tidy plates, I've got it set to the like the quattro theme and I'm damaged, so you go into damage. In my settings, I normally want the exact health, which these only have one because they're dummies. The level, the font, you can have it as by class, but for the most part, by class and default are pretty similar. And that's uh, the name of it anyway, so the name that would come up. Uh, it doesn't really change for these, and you can change friendlies if you're a healer. I generally turn off the buffs and debuffs because you'll see a thousand and one different 
things above their head, which I don't really want to see. And I only want to see mine. And Omni CC, that's just the um, countdown numbers, I think. What else do we have here? This one here is the one that you hear yelling out trinket and cooldowns and everything. Battleground targets I use just for BGs. You'll see it on the right hand side of my my videos. It shows the enemy team. So I can normally just suss them out. And I find it it's a quick way for me to retarget certain things or attack certain specific people. So if I've, there's two priests and it's a Wilson Gulch and I know that one of the priests is at the back healing, I don't have to find him to click on him. I can click on one or two and I'll, I'll spot which one it is. And I'll click on him and I'll already have him targeted as I run in. That's pretty much it. Yeah, it's pretty short, pretty simple. I'll keep it at that. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll hope to do a macros video in the future as well, but it might take a bit longer because there's class specifics. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed. Hope this was helpful. You can find this all on Curse. And if you need any assistance installing the add-ons, uh, I could certainly do a video for that in the future as well. I'll see you later.